G'day guys, Jay Cena here and welcome to another episode on the Australian Wealth Channel. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the median income state by state in Australia. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Really helps to get these videos out to more people so we can share the information that we have uh, across the world. So we're going to be having a look at what the median income is across each state in Australia. Now a quick description, um, you know some people use the average, uh, some people use the median. Personally I think that the median is a much better way to get an overall picture of what people's incomes actually look like because by using the average uh, they're skewed quite dramatically by people that are making a lot of money. Uh, so if we take the, the lowest earning person, the highest earning person, and we go along each person till we meet in the middle, that's what the median is. So it's what the person who is truly in the middle is actually earning. Uh, because what we see uh, when we use the average is there's a fair, a fair lot of people that are sort of centered around a certain figure, but the figure is skewed massively upwards because uh, people who are very wealthy and are continuing to earn a lot of money tend to skew that quite dramatically. So that tends to be a lot higher. Uh, so the median personally I find is a much better way to go about this. So that is what I'll be using. So we're gonna go through each state and territory and following that we're gonna have a look at what the median is Australia wide if we take every single person. So we're gonna start with Tasmania. So Tasmania down there uh, has the lowest median income in all of Australia. Uh, beautiful place to live, not such a great place to be earning a lot of money. So while the median income growth rate is actually the fastest uh, down in Tasmania, it's still the lowest in terms of median income. So uh, down in Tasmania, the median income is 47,352. That's what the person in the middle is earning. So now moving on from Tasmania, we're going to South Australia. Now South Australia is known very much for its uh, Barossa Valley region. And of course, on top of that, they do uh, the lion's share of the defense spend in this country. A lot of our defense is developed down in Adelaide. Uh, now the median income has actually grown uh, in South Australia as well, 3.2% uh, in the last year, uh, which is, is solid growth. Uh, and the median income for South Australia is 49,000 888. So following from that, we are moving up north to the next uh, highest earning state. Now that state is in fact Queensland. Now Queensland is very much known for its tourism. That's kind of the, the biggest thing with Queensland. However, having said that, it's changing because of the way real estate is. It's much more affordable than Sydney and Melbourne and the rents are lower than Sydney and Melbourne. A lot of companies are moving their headquarters uh, to Brisbane because uh, it's saving them so much money. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of growth continue to happen in Brisbane. And as a result, the median income is going up also in Queensland. In fact, in the last year, it's gone up about 3%. Uh, so Queensland, the median income is $50,298. So moving on from Queensland, we are going to Victoria. Now, of course, we know uh, that the hub of Victoria is, of course, Melbourne. And the reason that Melbourne exists is because of the gold rush. A lot of supplies had to come through the port of Melbourne. And as a result, that city has grown into something massive. And of course, uh, that, that tradition has continued. There's a lot of uh, shipping that continues to go through Melbourne. If we look at the median income in Victoria, it comes out to $51,027. Now we are moving to the state with the largest economy in Australia and that is my favourite state and that is New South Wales. Now New South Wales is known for its very diverse economy, it includes a mix of tourism, uh, it's a very strong financial sector, has the most expensive property market in Australia amongst a number of other things. It's a very well diversified economy and as a result uh, it is the most powerful economy in Australia. So the median income in New South Wales is $51,818. So it's a, it's a pretty strong figure, it's one of the higher ones in Australia. Uh, but of course, if we if we look at some of the other places in Australia, they're even higher. And there's a number of different factors which skew uh, these earnings in a certain direction. So we're going to have a look at them right now. Now we're heading over to a state in Australia that used to be part of Australia, but it seems like, you know, they just want to go and do their own thing uh, over there. Uh, but we're talking about Western Australia. And of course, Western Australia is known for its mining. It's a very, very large state. 
uh, and there's a lot of mining that goes on and it is a very profitable state at the moment uh, given the price of iron ore and a lot of other co commodities that we pull out of the dirt there. So in Western Australia, the median income is $54,220. So it's it's a little bit higher than, uh, than even New South Wales and that is due to the mining and a lot of people uh, that are working in the mines over in there. Now this next one was quite a surprise to me. I didn't realize that the median was gonna be so high for this particular territory. Uh, so in the Northern Territory, the median income is $61,517. So it's nearly a whole $10,000 higher than New South Wales. And I think a lot of the reason for that is also the mining sector, um, you know, there's, there's big bucks in mining. There's, there's no other way to put it. People that are working in the mines are making a lot of money because the companies uh, that are operating these mines are also making a lot of money. And it is of course very hard work. So, uh, you know, you get what you earn. And finally, the last territory in Australia. This one does not surprise me at all uh, because it is a centre full of politicians. And uh, of course, you know, we, we need to make sure our politicians get paid well and our public servants get paid well because they do such a great job for this country. So in the Australian Capital Territory, the median income is $66,594. So that is the highest median income in Australia, uh, $66,000, which is a whole $15,000 roughly higher than uh, New South Wales. So if we take all of the people all around the country from every single state and territory, what we get uh, for the median income in Australia is $51,389. So the person in the middle, regardless of age, regardless of where they live, the median person, the person right in the middle is making $51,389. So I'd be really keen to hear what you guys think about this. Does this median, does the average person sound like, like it's too high? Does it sound like it's too low? I'd be really keen to hear what you guys think in the comments section. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps to get these videos out to more people. Uh, we're gonna be continuing to make more videos uh, going forward to provide a lot of information to people uh, in more of an Australian context because you know there's a lot of channels that cover the US and because there's a lot of people there, but uh, we also need some good economic coverage here in Australia. So if you wanna get yourself a free stock, I have a link to stake in the description. Uh, sign up to the brokerage and they'll give you a free stock just for depositing money. If you'd like to track your net worth, I have a link to Wee Money. That's where I track my net worth. And they'll, they'll give you five bucks just for signing up and connecting an account. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Jay Sini, and we'll see you later.